If you buy PC games in 2017, you have to have Steam. If somehow you don't know what Steam is, let me break it down for you. Steam is without a doubt the most popular digital distributor for PC games. The application, along with the Steam website, is a monster of a store with thousands upon thousands of new games constantly showing up on Steam. Now, Xbox does not see Valve, which is the company behind Steam, as a competitor or a threat. They don't mean that as in like they don't. They don't mean that as in like Valve is too small to be a competitor to them, but they mean like they don't hate Valve. Mike Yabara was recently talking about crossplay, and this is what he had to say about it. It's more about gamer choice, more about making an IP on our platform last longer. I don't care about where they play, I just want people to have fun playing games because that's just better for the industry. If any developer wants to have that, as in crossplay, Valve is right down the street from us. Nintendo is too, they're like a block from us. We're having these discussions as developers come up, and we're completely open to that. Now Mike did mention Nintendo, but in this video we're just going to be focusing solely on Valve. So what Mike basically just said is that Valve has an option to crossplay with Xbox and Microsoft will allow it. Do I think Valve would actually do that though? I mean, I don't know a whole lot about the relationship between Microsoft and Valve. I heard that Valve is nervous about Windows 10 and Xbox One becoming the same thing as it might affect them, but Valve is definitely not pro-Microsoft for sure. Even without doing much research, you can just tell that Valve is not the biggest fan of Microsoft. But I actually did sit down and think about this, and I came up with this idea, what if Steam became more embraced by Microsoft and Windows would have Steam pre-installed on Windows? Imagine how much people would love seeing Steam on Xbox. Steam almost always has great sales going on, and if people could connect their Steam accounts to Xbox, that could entice a lot of PC gamers to move the Xbox. Because you could have this powerful device, like for PC gamers they would want something mostly like the Xbox One X, and they could just play Steam games casually on the TV. And developers would also benefit because they could just port over their games to Steam and mostly not have to do much tweaking to get the games to run on Xbox. Yeah, not all of Steam's games would be compatible with Xbox, but games that utilize a controller wouldn't have to change much to get the games to run properly on Xbox. The reason I thought of this is because Microsoft is merging Windows and Xbox into one. So if Microsoft really does care about Valve, and I mean they would have to really care about them. They could just slap Steam on Windows and Microsoft, developers, and Valve would benefit. Now other operating systems could also benefit from this, but if Xbox Steam games are secure enough, they could make it that a Windows or Xbox exclusive game can only run on those platforms. The biggest downside though would be that Microsoft would have to really change some things about Steam to keep some Xbox only exclusives on there. But maybe that could also benefit Microsoft if, if people could read and watch trailers about Xbox exclusive games on Steam but they can't download it, that might make people want to go out and get an Xbox to play those games. So those games and Xbox get more exposure. Obviously, there would be a lot of issues this could bring on that I didn't mention here, but it would benefit so many companies in the end. Though if this did happen, Xbox One would just become a PC. So if you did find this video interesting, please share this video on social media, it really does help. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comments below, and see you.